In this video, I am going to show you how I wired two switches and an outlet in one box. I wired the barn out here, put a panel in, brought the power from the main panel in the house, and you can see the conduit running up. I ran across, put some lights up here, brought the conduit all the way across and down over here put a receptacle or an outlet there and I also have two can lights on the overhang of the barn so I'll show you how I did it let's get started and this three gang box is gonna have a switch here a switch here and an outlet here and there's a hole that goes right through to the panel so I can feed this three gang box so what I'm gonna do first is pull these wires out and when I was pulling the wires I wrote on the casing barn lights cam lights here and this is the outlet here I'll pull the sheathing off. So this is the barn lights. Strip this back about a half inch. And the paper. Cut that off. And take my labels here and I will take the barn lights and slide this on take that off so I know where that one goes now the can light I'm just labeling the black wire, the hot wire, and then the outlet. Okay, we're all set. I'm going to pull the panel cover off. And here's where I'm going to bring the wire through. This is the wire coming from the main panel. This is the sub panel. So there's no power here. Got a piece of 14 2 wire. I'm going with a 15 amp breaker. Just feed that through. Myself six inches, and I'm going to strip this wire. I'm going to be careful to go right in the middle where that copper wire is so you don't damage any of the other wires. And you slide this off. So for now, I'm just going to tuck these wires in here. And we'll deal with the panel later. Alright, this is my power here. I'm 
I'm going to make some pigtails. So I just cut off a piece of wire. I'm going to strip it. Pull the wire out. And I'm going to take the copper wire and make four pigtails, about six, seven inches long. So there's one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to take my four wires, two lights, the outlet on the other side, and then the wire from the panel. Bunch them all together, get them about the same length. Put my pigtail on there, so I got five wires. I can't use a yellow wire nut for this, so I'm going to have to use a red one. And I like to twist them together just a little bit, get them started. It's good. I'll take my red wire nut, which can handle five wires, snug this down, and I like to go so I get maybe a couple twists outside the wire nut. All right, there's my pigtail and we'll tuck that in the back and get that out of the way. Now off of this one pigtail I need three wires, three ground wires, one to go to the, each switch, one two switches and one to the outlet. So we'll do the same thing we just did Tie those together. And again, because it's four wires, I can go with the white yellow wire nut. Alright. And we've got that on nice and snug. And we will tuck that out of the way. And I need one wire. each one. And then we're good to go there. Now we'll take all the white wires together and the white wires don't connect to the light switches but I do need a neutral wire to go to the receptacle. So I'm going to tie all these together and make one pigtail to go to the receptacle. I like the ends all together there. tuck those out of the way. Now the hot lead coming from the panel, which is right here, I'm going to put three pigtails on there. One for this outlet, one for this switch, and one for this switch. I'm also going to tie the outlet on the other side of the building to this, so that's always hot. And then these three pigtails. So I got five wires here, and then the three pigtails. I could run this hot lead to the other outlet from this outlet, but if this outlet goes bad, then that outlet's not going to work. So this way, I got power to everything, and if something fails in the series, I'm not going to lose that. All right. 
right. And we can tuck that out of the way. Okay. Now all we need to do is wire these up. This is all the hot down here, of course the ground there. And then these are the outgoing to the can light switch and the barn lights overhead. And then this one neutral wire goes to the outlet over here. Do the outlet first. Our ground. Nice and tight. And black goes to brass, and neutral white goes to the lighter color, silver. Of course you want to put these clockwise so it's hooked this way so it goes with the tightening I'm not using this one so I'll just turn it in so it's not exposed and our black Goes here. And I'll do the same with this here and tighten this one down, get it out of the way. Good. Okay, got 14 2 wire. I got 15 amp switches. And all we need to do is hook the ground, the bare copper wire, to the green screw. And then the black wire, which is the power coming from the panel, to the bottom copper screw. And then the other copper wire going to the barn lights and the can lights on the top. That'll work our on-off. The copper wire doesn't matter which one you use. And you do want to make sure you get them going clockwise. This is going to our barn lights. You just snug these down, make sure they're good. That's good. 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 It's just plastic, so I'm just using the battery drill to tape it in, and then I'll tighten it down with the screwdriver. I'll 
He's going clockwise. for our cam lights. Good. Tuck that in. And now we'll throw our cover plate on. There we are. If this video is a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online. Minnie, what are you doing with my glove? And that's how easy it is to wire a three-gang box with two switches and one outlet.